Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. This is going to be the first video of a rather long series tackling transplantation immunology. Everything you need to know about transplantations and why they might get accepted or not, why they don't get accepted or rejected in this scenario is going to be discussed in this playlist. So uh, let's get started with a very brief introduction. Now, functioning organs are transplanted to patients suffering from defections in, or in their own organs. Basically, if the person's organs are doing completely fine, there's no reason to be getting a transplantation. However, sometimes uh, we would need this and there are a lot of things that come uh, after it. Like the implications of getting a graft that we're going to be discussing, by the way, we're going to be defining it soon. The, the implications that come with these grafts are very tricky especially when we're talking about the immune system. Now, this also applies to tissues like the bone marrow and cells, stem cells primarily. These transplanted organs, tissues or cells are called grafts. Now, this is very important. It is not only the case that organs are the ones that, that are transplanted. In fact, even tissues and cells are. So, the, and even though uh, even these cells and tissues can induce these uh, immune responses against them. So, also this is very important to remember. The person donating the graft is uh, naturally going to be called the donor, and the person receiving it is going to be called the recipient. This is some very basic terminology that we're going to be using later, and we're not going to be defining it then. So, it's very important important to get familiar with these terms at the moment. It is worth noting that the limiting factor, so why don't we just get better organs? I mean, if I have, for example, some defective lungs or a kidney or whatever, then why don't I just get another functioning heart or a kidney or a lung from a person that, well, I mean, who's dead and, uh, and everything is fine? Why isn't that possible? It is because of the immune response. Essentially, there is a very strong immune response if these uh, some things are not taken into consideration. We, by the way, are going to be tackling uh, this issue and understanding how we can bypass or how we can trick our immune system to not uh, reject these grafts also later on in the series. This is witnessed whenever a, dra uh, a graft is donated, unless it was from identical twins, and also we're going to be tackling that. Uh, this uh, phenomenon is called the, the, called the syngeneic graft, or from the person's own body, which is the autograft. Now, let's actually get into the gist of this video, the first and the second set rejection. First of all, to understand the first uh, set rejection, we simply take a skin graft from a mouse. Now, we are taking two mice here. We're studying two different mice, mouse A and mouse B. So, we take a skin graft, we take a few skin cells from mouse A, and then we put them, we apply them on, skin, uh, on the skin of mouse B. And it is worth noting that these two mice are genetically different. Now, no rejection is going to be taking place in the first three days. Now, we are also going to be discussing why this is the case, by the way. Now, there is no, going, no rejection in the first three days. There will be rejection, however, in the first uh, after 10 days. And this is what we are going to be seeing in the picture to the right. So, uh, second, uh, second set rejection is when another skin graft from the first mouse, that is mouse A, is applied to the skin of the second mouse. So let's imagine this. We've got, we take the skills from mouse A, skin cells from mouse A, put them on mouse B. After 10 days, we get a rejection. And the second set rejection, we take the same, we take, we take another, uh, another, uh, uh, well, how can I say this? Um, another uh, bunch of cells from mouse A, and then we apply them to the skin of mouse B. What is going to be happening here is that there is going to be a rapid response, and in the first three days, this rejection is going to be occurring. Now, so here we'll notice that the rejection is going to be occurring after three days. Now, what explains this? Why is this the case? Uh, this is because the mouse is now sensitized against the graft. Basically, the, uh, it's the immune system of the mouse A, uh, of the mouse B at the, uh, in this case, is going to be able, he basically knows there are memory cells against these cells uh, that uh, indicate that these are, uh, these are not uh, self. Whenever our body recognizes something that is not self, they're going to be inducing an immune response against it. Now, humoral immunity is different than adaptive immunity. Humoral immunity might not be very effective, however, it is rapid. However, however when we're talking about uh, adaptive immune response, it is going to be incredibly effective. And here we're specifically talking about B cells and T cells. And in this case, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be slightly delayed. However, after the first 
um, how can we say this, after the first appearance, after they first see these uh, skin cells, they're going to be producing B cells, uh, uh, they're going to be uh, producing memory cells, which are primarily B cells, right? So now that we have memory cells, the next time there is the skin graft, the body will immediately, these memory B cells will remember that, okay, we saw this before, let's induce an Im immediate immune reaction, which is typically around three days. One major point we can deduce from this is that the recipient now has memory cells, just like we mentioned, that are responsible for the rapid immune response. And this is the adaptive immune response. Now, uh, let's uh, try to just uh, see what's written in this, um, in this uh, small box. By sensitized, we mean that the mouse has produced antibodies against this graft. This results in a faster immune response. Now, it is worth noting that if we were to get another mouse skin graft and apply it to mouse B, the rejection will happen after 10 days. Now, what does this tell us? This tells us that these memory cells are very specific. It's not like whenever they receive anything that is not self again, they're going to be inducing an immune response after three days. No, it's quite the contrary. They're going to be only inducing quick responses after these, uh, uh, like assuming these cells are the same. So basically, if I take another uh, skin graft from mouse A and put them into mouse B, also after three days, I'm going to be getting a, an immune response. However, if I take skin cells from mouse C and put them in mouse B, even though it is sensitized to the first, mouse, uh, mice, uh, the first mouse's skin cells, these B cells are specific to that. Therefore, the next, the mouse C skin cells are going to be rejected after 10 days. This is very important to remember. And this gives us a very clear cut uh, answer to the fact that these, uh, these uh, adaptive, this adaptive immune response is going to be highly specific. On a similar note, and to confirm what is mentioned above, if we inject strain A lymphocytes into mouse B, now this is very important. We just mentioned that adaptive immune response is the one that is going to be triggering this rejection. Therefore, by adaptive immune response, we mean uh, T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes, or otherwise called the B cells and the T cells, right? So if we induce, if we inject these lymphocytes into mouse B, then from the first time, these cells are going to be rejected after three days, which basically proves our point that these T lymphocytes are the ones that are going to be uh, inducing this reaction. So this is because the cells responsible for the sensitization are now available for the mouse, those cells being the lymphocytes, thereby proving that the immune response that is, uh, uh, the immune response that is induced by, these, uh, by this mouse is an adaptive immune response. Uh, this concludes episode one of, uh, of this uh, very fun series actually and uh, I hope to see you in a future videos. Thank you for watching. This has been Ali from B Biology.